All right, so one more example here, dividing whole numbers. So here we'll have uh, 13,267 divided by 18. So let me rewrite that. 13,267 divided by 18. And already dividing by a two-digit number. Um, to me, to do these by hand, it, it certainly requires just a bit more sort of guesswork, and you'll see as we go along. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say, well, you know, how many times would 18 go into 1? Well, 0 times. How many times would 18 go into 13? Again, 0 times. How many times would 18 go into 132? Well, certainly 132 is bigger than 18, so I know uh, it, it happens some number of times. And now this is where we have to sort of guess. And this, again, is where it's tedious. Um, usually what I think about is, you know, I think 18 is pretty close to 20. I just start estimating. 18 is pretty close to 20. Uh, 132, well, that's pretty close to 130. So instead of thinking about 18 uh, and 132, in my head I'm kind of thinking, well, what's uh, 130 divided by 20? And at least now I'm dealing with sort of rounded off numbers to give myself a guess. So let's see. Um, we could even pretend the zeros weren't there. So 2 will go into 13 about 6 times with a little bit left over. So maybe 6 times 18 is a good guess. So I kind of check off to the side. So let's see, 18 times 6. So 6 times 18 is going to be 48, so I'm going to keep the 8 and carry the 4. So let's see, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 is 108. Well, let's try one larger, because I don't think that's going to be quite big enough. So let's do 18 times 7. And again, we're basically just trying to get as close to 132 as we can without going over. So 18 times 7, that's 56. So I'm going to keep the 6 and carry the 5. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Well, hey, 126 is even closer uh, to 132 than 108 was, and we still haven't gone over. You know, but 126, is certainly if I, if I uh, multiplied by 8, it would be too big. I would be adding another 18. So it looks like 18 will go into 132 seven times. And again, we just said 7 times 18 is 126. Now we do our subtraction. Okay, so 132 minus 126 is going to leave us with 6. I'm going to carry down my next digit. And again, to get that, we could say, well, 2 minus 6, we can't do that. So we can carry you know, a, a digit from the 3. We'll make that into a 2. The 2 would turn into a 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. 2 minus 2 is 0. So again, if you've forgotten you know, subtraction, um, you may take a glance at that as well, just to save us a second. OK, so um, 6 uh, drops down. So now I'm thinking 18 goes into uh, 66 how many times? Well, let's see. Um, again, 18 is pretty close to 20. This is pretty close to 70, so I'm thinking maybe three or four times. And the way I check is I just kind of uh, think about multiples of 18 in my head. So if I add another 18, that's going to give me 36. Um, if I add another 18, I believe that's going to give me 54. So if we add another 18, that's going to give us 72. Okay, and I think 72 is too big, so it looks like if we have one, two, three 18s, we'll get 54. So 3 times 18 is 54. If we subtract, we'll be left with 12. Again, so you can kind of see dividing by a two-digit number is pretty obnoxious. Um, to do this, I'm rounding to kind of speed things up. I'm really doing multiplication to check, uh, you know, to make sure I've got, I'm doing it correctly. I'm really adding numbers to think about multiples as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. Um, so let's drop down our last digit here, which is a 7. So I'm thinking 18 goes into 127 how many times? Well, I think we're lucky because we already did the work over here. If we multiply by 7, 
So let me get rid of these numbers. If we multiply by 7, we said 7 times 18 is 126. And if we subtract, we'll just be left with 1. Okay, so notice we've kind of uh, have exhausted all the digits here. This number is what's going to be our remainder. So it says if we do, uh, what was our number? 1, 3, 2, 6, 7. If we divide that by 18, it says we're going to get 7, 3, 7 with a remainder of 1.